Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review. Uh, so here I have the Winter Soldier and Falcon 2 pack. Um, I found them at my Best Buy, they're like re-releasing them. Uh, I was not able to pick them up when they came out uh, like two years ago, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm actually happy that I found them at my Best Buy because, well, now they cost like, I don't know, like 80 bucks on the Amazon and eBay now. So I thought that was a lot. So I was able to get him, get this for uh, half that price. So that's good. So here's the front for you. You get the action figures here. And then you get the Avengers Infinity War logo there. Winter Soldier, Marvel's Falcon. And you get the Marvel Legends logo up there. And on this side, you get the Winter Soldier look. And in the back, you get the Winter Soldier and Falcon figures in the back. If you guys want to pause and read this, read that, you can. And then here's the other side with Falcon there. Nothing really on the top here. Here's the bottom for the DCPI for you guys. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Falcon and Winter Soldier out of the packaging here. So there's a lot of accessories here. So let's start with the one with the least amount, which will be Winter Soldier. So he comes with this massive, weird looking gun, which was not in the movie at all. But you get uh, a lot of metallic silver going on there. Yellow a like, gold wash going through it, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what the hell this thing is. I can see that the very end right here is kind of warped. I don't know if it was supposed to be like that or if it is, but it's kind of weird. So this one has me a little confused, but yeah, okay then. Uh, but yeah, this one is Winter Soldiers, but this is the only thing that he has for accessories. Besides maybe, uh, let's go over this just in case because it's going to be his ma mainly Falcon has his wings. So, um, you get this little, uh, gun here, assault rifle, it has the scope here, and then you get that grenade launcher. It reminds me a lot of cables, but it's different from cables. This one's more like a, I think an AK, right? Not AK, duh. Um, I don't remember what the gun's called, but yeah. But it looks a lot like a gun that we've all seen before. But yeah, we've seen this from a figure before. I just don't remember which one. But yeah, uh, nothing real special about it besides the scope I like a lot and then the grenade launcher. Besides that, it's all black. So yeah. Um... But this is all we got for Winter Soldier's accessories here. So here's the head sculpt for him. It looks a lot like uh, Sebastian Stan. The only problem that I have with this, with the Avengers Infinity War uh, Winter Soldier, is that he had an actual beard. They kind of like gave it a little bit of fade to make it look like he has a beard, but he had like a little bit of a beard. Um, and I think he had a little bit of longer hair and he looked more like a mess so yeah but this one you kind of looks like he has a clean shave and stuff like that but uh looks a lot like sebastian sand so i like that a lot uh, i think this is the same hair from the winter soldier i meant the civil war winter soldier figure but i'm not sure and then you get that uh one uniform they wore in uh winter soldier and endgame so that's cool I like the little stripes here the stitching and stuff like that sculpt and you get the little gray detailing there you get the i think that's supposed to be black area here uh, i don't know if that's yeah that's not miss paint i got a little confused there um but yeah you get that little gray detailing there it kind of looks like leather to me um i like how they they made this vest look like it's padded so that's pretty cool and you get that little more detailing like a forearm guard and then you get the fingerless gloves for him um and then you get the collars here and then you got this his new arm so it's kind of the same deal with that one gun that he has for him so yeah metallic grit is silver going on there really reflect reflective and then you get some gold wash going through the like the creases of the arm here so that's cool and you get that little gray bracelet which i don't remember seeing that kind of throws me off a little bit but okay but yeah 
they did a good job on the arm besides this little bracelet thing kind of throws me off a little bit but yeah and then you get the pants if i can oh i'm a little scared about this okay there we go it was now working for some reason um but yeah they get pants here so the thing these are different pants from the other ones yeah we've never seen these pants before so yeah you get the little lining through the thighs here you get that little holster area here with the little silver detailing strap parts here i like the sculpt here it's pretty cool um and you get stitching down the middle of the leg there um and then middle of the legs in the back here too and you got the boots here nothing real special about them they're really glossy which kind of I, I wish they had a little a little bit of a more metal look to them but yeah um but let's go over his articulation here so i believe he has a yeah he has a disc ball joint here so he can look down this far up that far pretty decent amount especially with the longer hair so that's good he can look left and right get some head pivoting there which is really good uh his shoulders can move out actually whoa way past 90 degrees i like that you gotta like that and, but for some reason i think i don't know this one's a little stiff for me it's a little clicky but yeah uh you get 360 rotation around the shoulder there you got bicep swivel double jointed elbows so that's good his wrists can hinge down just a little bit up pretty much a little bit and then you get 360 rotation around there um really stiff arm there okay uh he has an ab crunch so you get him to go forward actually pretty far backwards quite a bit you get a waist swivel so 360 rotation around there his legs get kicked out that far forward quite a bit backwards just a little you got the thigh cut there double jointed knees uh you got a boot cut there his ankles can hinge down that far up back to normal i guess um and then you got a nice ankle pivot now we got winter soldier out of the way we'll put them off to the side here and then we'll go over falcons stuff so first yeah let's start with the bigger pieces so we've gotten this wings before i think it's just a repaint from the other one actually i got the other one right here let me pull that one out real quick i kind of like i see a little bit of a difference here i feel like i don't know i can't really i feel like they used a darker gray on this one but you probably can't tell through camera but yeah it's just a repaint same sculpt that we've seen before before <laughs> sorry um but yeah same sculpt nothing really new about that one we've seen this one too um just a little bit of a repaint a little more of a darker metallic gray so like that like the sculpt there and you get this other piece here for uh what's the name of it red wing i believe yeah um the little drone that comes out of this pack um but yeah you get the red detailing there um if you guys don't have red, red wing yet he's in like the one from civil war for uh falcon here and all you gotta do is just plug that thing in there just like i want to do that so that way i don't lose the piece these things are pretty hard to keep track of so yeah, just plug that in like that, and it should be able to stay. Yeah, I think that's as good as I can get it for right now, but yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. Um, but besides that, that's all he's got for accessories. I'll show you how to put these together after we go over the figure. And I also got the figures here to do a comparison. So yeah, I like the head sculpt for this one. It looks a lot like Anthony Mackie to me. The other one kind of throws me off a little bit, but yeah, you get the haircut there the black hair i like the goggles here i uh, wish they had a little bit more detailing on the goggles here but yeah i like the red that they used there though you got that little beard there for him he has that serious look um and then here's this vest here uh you get that red detailing there metallic gray in between there for the wings um it's the same sculpt just a little bit of a repaint like 
darker uh, colors, I believe, which I like a lot. Um, and then you get that really metallic, I mean, really reflective gray right there on his forearm. You get a little bit of red spatter on there. Eh, it's not going to bother me a whole bunch, but yeah. Um, and yeah, his sleeves go up to almost his elbow. Same deal on the other arm. You get a smaller wrist, um, was it forearm pad or whatever you want to call this thing on the other arm with a little bit of red detailing. You also get a little bit of red lining around that one. Uh, and you get some more red detailing throughout the arms and shoulders here. I like to sculpt a lot. Uh, you get some silver buckles along the vest here. Um, I wish to add just a little more paint apps in this. Uh, and then you got his belt here silver uh buckle there for his pockets or whatever you want to call these things got the strap there for him to be stable on his wings um and then you got the knee pads here which i think are pretty cool and you got the um shoes or boots actually this is supposed to be one big boot so you got the buckles there and stuff like that really dark metallic i mean metal gray um gun metal gray so yeah i like this figure a lot and you also got the treads at the bottom here um but yeah i wish they had just a little more paint apps for him especially for the goggles it's just all gray around the lining but i like the red that they use for the goggles here it looks looks like it's actually reflective uh i'm excited to see what they're going to do for falcon and winter soldier figures but let's go over his articulation here so i think he has a disc and ball joint too so his head can hinge down that far that's good Ooh, that was weird okay up that far three six, i mean no what am i talking about he can look left and right and no hip pivoting his shoulders can move out ooh, not quite 90 degrees but it's probably because that is because that pads in the way there you get 360 rotation around the shoulder there. You got bicep swivel. You got double jointed elbows there. His wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. He has a, uh, whoops, uh, he has a ab crunch here. So you can look, like, go down hardly any, but he's going to be looking up anyways for going up, uh, for flying. So yeah, you get, his back could go back that far. He has a, uh, waist swivel, so 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out that far. Forward, eh, quite a bit. Not quite 90 degrees. Backwards, like, not a lot. Uh, he does have a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees, so that's good. Way past 90 degrees there. His ankles can hinge down that far. Up that far. And nice ankle pivot. And then for the wings, so you just want to grab this piece and this one. And you want the curve going towards you, like the ends coming towards you, like this. This one's going to go on the left one here. So you just want to plug it in from the inner part. And just poke the pegs into the holes here. Just like that. And then same deal with the other one. Just like that. And you get these two pegs here, which just go right on his back here on these pig holes. And then boom, you got him like that. And here's the Infinity Winter Soldier next to the Civil War Winter Soldier. My Winter Soldier from the Civil War arm broke. I think that's the same deal that we've a lot of people have been having problems with with them. They the arm would break off from the elbow joint. I'm trying to find mine so I can just glue it back on, I guess, but yeah, I I don't know. They're, these guys are this one's like 60 bucks now i think um but yeah i'm happy i got this one because then it's more up to date i think um but yeah and then i like the skin tone that they use for this one more than this one this one kind of has a, like a zombie look to them whereas that one's more like an actual like figure or person so yeah and here's the infinity uh, War Falcon next to the Civil War Falcon. I think the Infinity War one's more accurate and more realistic because this one, I, I don't know, the face doesn't really match well for me on this one and the beard doesn't really match up. Whereas this one 
for me, it really does remind me a lot like um, Anthony Mackey's uh, Falcon. So there's that. And then just comparison with the wings. So this one's the Civil War one. And then here's the Infinity War one. So the Civil War one is a little bit of a lighter gray, whereas this one's more of like a darker gunmetal gray. So I like this one more, to be honest. So there's that. So yeah, there's that for those guys. I uh, really like them. I think they're, uh, I think they did a really good improvement on them. I am actually really happy that they really re-released them uh, since I was able to get them for a cheaper price and getting them on Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm happy about what I got actually. Um, the only problem I guess that I would have I guess it's mainly just the face for him, I guess, that head sculpt is not quite accurate to what Infinity War would look like, but I think that's what, well, actually, no. Um, it's closer to what he would look like in um, Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, series in Disney Plus coming out soon, but uh, he's going to be having shorter hair than that, so yeah. Uh, I'm... I'm excited for the figures that will be coming out in Disney for Disney Plus that Disney Plus series. So yeah, um, but overall, I think they did a good job on this. They did they did improve from the other ones, like I've said. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got. <laughs>